and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Sharp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. You're the real most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, we say Bob. it with conviction. Mm. Uh, today we're going to talk about the beginner stretch routine in bed using a stretch strap. That's a Bob and Brad stretch strap, Absolutely. And we're going to show you 10 stretches. And by the way, I found out that you've been doing this, Brad. Oh, Bob, of I, course. I, I, I'm excited. You know, I, I use this occasionally, but I, I don't use it on a regular basis. And yeah, here you are. Absolutely. Oh, I'm okay. sold. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com because we're doing a huge giveaway. Oh, we are. Yeah, we're doing. Well, what do you think? Well. This is a sleep evasion <laughs> mattress. Uh, yeah. You can also go to Facebook, it'll be pinned to the top of the page, the contest that is. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60 second version of our program. This is what we're giving away. Uh, you can sign up all week, basically. I don't know what day it is today. Uh, based on Tuesday. Sleep Ovation Mattress. Sleep Ovation Mattress mm. has 700 individual mattresses. This is just a sample. Yeah, it's and they get a cover for it and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a full it's McCoy. It's very comfortable because of the individual mattresses. Best one I've seen. Oh, it's yeah. wonderful. So check it out. And we're giving away a couple of their pillows, too. Oh, absolutely. So. It's a complete set. All right. All right. Well, so, Brad, I think we could just jump right into jump it. Jump right into it. Okay. Yeah, the stretch out strap. This one is exactly the same one, same color, same everything. I really like it. It feels good. I'm going to move this out just a little good. bit, Brad. Oh, yes. There we go. Yeah, right. yeah, this is a really good band. I mean, we uh, it, it, strap. It, yeah. it just, you could. I've used four different types so far, and by far, this one feels the best. It works the best. And I'm uh, very happy to have the our name on it. The longest, too. <laughs> All right. First stretch is just stretching your arms overhead, Brad. You wake up. Yep. Is this what you normally wear to bed? Yeah. Maybe I don't want to uh, know. No, Bob, you really, uh, that's a personal yeah. thing between my wife and I. All so right. anyways, this thing, the nice thing about it is it's these little loops, you can see the separation. That allows you to get your hand in there real easily. And then you don't have to grip if you have grip problems. It just makes the stretch easier. So we're going to. Go like this. Is I was going to do two stretches, Brad. I was going to oh, do I'm one sorry. where you have your arms pretty close together. Yep. Well, and then one away. where you you have them pretty far apart. Yep. So you're doing a little bit different stretches on the different sure. parts of the pec. So, so we're going to go yep, oh. straight that way. But you know that's a nice thing because some people that have tight shoulders will need to go a little wider apart. Sure. Um, it all depends on your individual flexibility. And then we're going to go wider apart. Right, right. And I'll go way over. I'll yep, exactly. And, yep. and really let it stretch off the edge of the bed. You feel that? Yes, yes. It's, it's different, isn't it? Yep. Like, I think you're getting more of the lats this way. This way? Yeah, with the, with no, with the arms together. Oh, right, right. right. That's a little more latissimus. Latissimus dorsi. You can't go wrong when you stretch the latissimus dorsi. <laughs> All right, what's the All next right. one, Bob? All uh, right, hook line. Remember where we did that, where you go one yep. way with the arms and... So hook line refers to the position of your legs, which is like this. Not like this, but bring them up, feet on the bed. And then my legs are going to go to the left. My knees are, as you see that. And then my hands and arms are going to stay straight and go to the right. This is a really nice one for that trunk and full back yeah, rotation. This is, it's actually moving the hip, but it's also moving the back, as Brad indicated. Now, on any of these, they should not create any pain, any sharp pain whatsoever. If they do, you should skip it and just uh, go to the next one. And anyway, as we've said many times with this one, you can actually, if you find out one direction is painful, avoid that one. Yep, just yep. do the one side. There you go. To start off with. Next one, All right, Bob. single knee to chest, Brad. Uh, so we're going like this. We could have this leg down. Now, there's a lot of people that might be able to do this without the strap. Yep. That's fine. Like but there's a lot of people that aren't able to do it and right. that's why the strap is nice and this is really nice to get your hands in the loop yeah especially if you have uh arthritic hands mm -hmm. arthritic wrists yeah and some people right go underneath underneath make it a lot easier oh and give the good stretch that way all right brad probably the best stretch a lot of people do with this one is the hamstring stretch isn't it oh yeah i mean and this is a way to stretch your hamstring without putting stress on your back which precisely is, which is difficult to do a lot of times now and, you're if you're in bed you're probably not going to have 
socks on or shoes on, but you can do it with socks or shoes on. When I do mine, I, I have my shoes on, and it works out really well that way, too. Yeah, so that it actually grips better on the shoes sometimes. Aren't you going to notice my socks, Bob? Yeah. Well, let's nice see, what red. do they say? Yeah. Fat tire. Fat, fat, yeah, fat tire. It was a, it was a uh, triathlon. Oh, it was. Yeah, they gave them to me. I wouldn't oh. buy socks like this. I can't have afford that. <laughs> Can we do both sides? Yeah, you can do both sides. Um, he can even do a little contract relax. You want to show that right real well, quick or not? You know, we're actually going to do a video. On that? Okay, yeah. well, you're going to have to wait then. You're yeah, it's really it. focuses on the hamstrings, how to get them to relax okay. and flex really quickly. Awesome. Okay. All right, next one, Brad, sideline quadriceps. Ah, yes. This is a great way to, yeah. to stretch the quad because normally what you have to do is you have to grab on. You have to have a little balance, and you grab the foot like this, and you pull it back. It's a little bit of a task there. And the really nice thing about this strap, another benefit is it's slippery, so it slides on your clothing, and I can use that for like a pulley system. Yeah, I can you see that okay? This, I mean, what what he's doing? Is it? <laughs> well, you know, you could you could do it on your stomach as well. Yeah, this is what he's doing on his side. Oh, is Mike hit Oh, it? yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, viewers and, and Liz. I, I made awkward noises. Um, but if you're on your side, you can pull it a little bit, the hip a little bit into extension, too, which will even stretch it even more. Yeah, I'm just wondering if doing this particular side will. Yeah, maybe it'll help. And, and then I don't bump into my mic. And well, we, we can three angles now, so. And we, we could go to the fourth one. Yeah, yeah, all right. Ooh. There we go. Oh. We we accommodate our our subscribers. Well, we care. All right. Uh, how about the heel cord, Brad? Heel cord. Oh, the, I remember that. Yeah, you can actually do that long sitting, or you can do it lying down, yep. however you want to do it. Now this one, you can do it barefoot or with socks on, but actually with shoes on works, works a better. little bit better because you can move the the strap closer to the toes and it sticks to the sole, the rubber sole. Right. Of the, but it, you can do it this way as well. Either way, but the other way, does, that is a benefit of the shoe for that. I'm going to get my hand in here. So these, we didn't really give an amount of time that you should do these. That's a very um, good point. I, I really, uh, you know, we're trying to do all these. We're trying to make it pretty quick. So yeah. I'd say like 30 seconds, Brad, wouldn't you? Hold for 30 seconds on each one or pressure or on, pressure Or you can pressure do pressure off. on, pressure off right. for and 30 that, seconds. And also the really critical thing is just being relaxed yep. and breathe. breathe. You're not holding your breath. We should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. You're right. But we're only seven minutes and 34 seconds this into should, it. <laughs> this should be a relaxing stretches. Yeah. This should be meditative almost. It's a great way to start the day. And it, and that's why in bed, you know, as long as you don't have three-year-old kids getting up and trying to wake you up or your dog jumping on you. All right. Why don't you do – you want to do that external rotation, Brad? Oh, with the hip? You, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, this is – I really do enjoy this. This is, for me, the easiest way to stretch my hip out. Um, so I'm going to go external rotation. Sure. Go this way. So I could pull here. It looks like this may hurt, but it actually feels like the, a the really hip's good. actually going into internal rotation. Right. right. I'm yeah, sorry. Internal rotation. This is even in school and PT. Yeah. Well, I was kind of through. That me actually off. is a great way to stretch internal rotation. That's about the only way I see. And, you know? and this external rotation. Yeah, look at four, that. It's really fun. Feels great. You have a lot of control. Not oh. bad for a 58 year old guy. <sighs> Don't remind me, Bob. <laughs> 58 some But days. I feel like I'm 57. 58 in some days now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. All right. How about hip abduction, Brad? You said you do this one too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this does the hip and it does uh, the groin and hamstrings. It's really a kind of a multi-purpose. And you go, just bring it up. This leg, it probably works better if it's down, but you can go here. You can experiment. And then... Uh, as you can see, Brad goes a lot farther than I do, I think, on that. Well, yeah, I've... Uh, the karate I don't know. days are still there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think maybe there was some rollover from that, but I, I don't know. It's just uh, everyone has their thing, and this is... This mine, is the one thing you have, right? <laughs> Yeah, and do it on both legs, too. What, what's well, the next gonna, one, Bob? You're gonna, I'm the next one, Brad, so... Oh, yeah, that's why I want to balance out. Yeah. yeah, the next one is a lumbar extension, back extension, which with spondylolisthesis or stenosis, you probably will not want to do this one. And I fit in that category. Yeah, and um, basically, this is one maybe a little more advanced stretch. Yeah. So you might 
you you might be one that's doing these extension yeah. stretches for your back. And this is just a more advanced. I got my hand in the loop here. Oh, you're going to go for the, oh, yes, this is one of the advanced ones. A lot of times for people with uh, rat radiculopathy and yeah. sciatica. It just hits it. You can hit the different spots. Mm. This actually works really good, Greg. So I, yeah. See how it's anchored there? Yep. And so what he means different spots is different levels on the, on the lumbar back. vertebra. Yes. And I can go up further like oh. this. Oh, yeah. And it just, it hooks onto my wrist really well, so yeah. I don't have to worry about having it underneath my hands. Yeah. Back in the old days, we'd use a towel and you'd try to squish the towel in between the, yeah. the floor of the bed and stuff. Yeah, this is a, this is a gift. So you're going to wake up and do this and you're going to get out of bed. You're going to be a new person. Yeah, and if yeah. there's anybody still lifting, you don't have to do, listening, you don't have to do <laughs> all 10 of them. No, don't. Pick out the ones that really, you know. Yeah, if you're having trouble with your hips. Focus on those. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're having trouble with your hamstring, yep. focus on that. So exactly. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. That and was. Be careful. Well, I really think we should go on to the part of uh, we can fix just about anything except, except for, for a broken heart. Right. And the, well, we're working the on the strap it. isn't going to help <laughs> on that aspect.